Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I want to say thank you to all those who have subscribed and thank you to all those who have been around for a while. I know I've been very sporadic in posting any videos. Um, this month has just been just crazy. Um, I think I told you before that my kids were sick so one week one got sick and then the next week the other one got sick. And then last week, my daughter, just keep her in your prayers, she ended up falling in our kitchen and we have a bench where we sit and um, she ended up hitting her two front teeth, which are her adult teeth. Um, and so it was just a nightmare. Poor thing. I felt so bad for her. So one tooth came out and the other one was loose and we called our dentist who is amazing. So it was like about seven or six at night and he told us to come into his office. Him and his son did this emergency procedure. And then the next day we went back to his office. He took some x-rays and then he went ahead and um, set us an appointment for um, an endodontist. So we did that and we will be going back for the next year to see an en the endodontist and her dentist um, to make sure that these the tooth that um, fell out is able to um, grow new roots. So her root is just because of her age, it hasn't closed off. So usually a root will be like this, it'll close off. So it's about right here with her. So we're praying and just um, that her tooth will go ahead and just latch on there to the root. And um, so we've been like with kit gloves with her, like she's not allowed to play. Um, her brother, we're really trying to keep her out of harm's way. So, cause we need to right now just keep that tooth stabilized so that the dentist was able to stabilize it to some other teeth. Um, but so that's been going on and that's just really been taking a lot of our time. Um, just watching her, it's just been, it's been a journey. <laughs> I'll say that, but I'm so glad to be here. I wanted to come on really quick just to, um, share with you the new Coco and Reno dyes for this month. I know I am so late on the train with this and I apologize. I don't have a lot done with them, but I just wanted to come in and um, at least show you what they were. So this month it's going to be the foliage cutting dyes and they're kind of neat. I, to be honest with these, I love, love all of the Coco and Reno dyes. These ones were a little harder for me, um, and I think maybe it's just kind of the, f not even the funk, but just everything that was going on, I felt like I just haven't had the, I've been just so tired, like my brain is just on autopilot right now, so forgive me, so I'm sure these dyes in the future, I'll be able to create things with them, but just, uh, it's just been tough, but um, um, I wanted to just come on here and show you what they were. So these were interesting. I wasn't sure how, what to do with this dye, but I did watch some videos and I can't remember off the top of my head, so I apologize. Um, so we have this dye here, um, which is like a rosette type of dye. This is a leaf rosette, which is really kind of cool um, dye. And then there's some other pieces. So there's like this one, which kind of reminds me of like a tropical type of leaf. Um, this fall leaf here, and then it looks like this a maple leaf. And um, so these three dies here, they've come out with a lot of the, like the rosettes. I like those. Um, so let me show you what the, they all look like. So this guy here, you have to cut out twice. So this will be cut out twice and I flip it over. Um, and then it comes out like this. So it's this really beautiful leaf, but it reminds me of like, you know, one of those big, um, what do you call those big type of like leaves that have like the fan. Uh, but also you can use it just as like, um, just a regular leaf here. Um, I was also thinking about maybe even like a, um, uh, a Christmas bulb, like this way, just kind of a really kind of cool, fun, fancy Christmas bulb. So that creates this, um, this guy creates, if I can get it, creates this. And the cool thing about this is it has like a little slit. So there's probably things that we can do with these somehow. I don't know. I have to think about it. But so that is going to be that one. This leaf here. Let's see if you can see this. Creates this die here. And this little maple leaf. Oh, there's a little tiny one. Where is that guy? I just had him. 
and I don't know where he went, but there's a, here he is. So this little tiny leaf here cuts out this leaf here. And again, look at, it kind of splits open. So I'm thinking there's something that I can do with it. I'm just not quite sure yet. And then there is this leaf die and I'll show you what I created with that. And then this maple leaf here. So what I did is I kind of layered the two pieces here. So this, again, this is one you have to cut out two times and then it creates this leaf here. Let's see, if you, I don't know if you can see it in the back, but so if you took this off here, it creates this beautiful leaf pattern here, which I think is beautiful. And then I went ahead and die cut this in gold and then I put some gold tool in the back. And what I was thinking for these, which might be kind of cool is if you're doing place settings for Thanksgiving, um, you could just put a name over this and then you can even do like a, it can be like a name, um, a name place or a placeholder, or you can even do a wrapkin nap. So if you put even like a little, um, string here or even like a paper, I guess another, maybe just something to attach it here and then put it over like a napkin. So let's say this was a napkin, right? And that's not a very good folded napkin, is it? Um, so this is a napkin here and then you can just put it over to where it folded that, you know, how that napkin in place. So these might be really cool little napkin holders too. So that's it for the Coco and Reno dies. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm hopeful to make some more videos coming soon. I'm going to try. Um, again, there's just a lot of things going on. We do have a little short, um, time from school we actually are off wednesday thursday and friday so i'm hoping to get some crafting time in then and to make some videos but till then i hope that you everybody has a wonderful day or time whenever you're watching this and thank you for all of the the comments and um just the love that you guys bring to my channel i really appreciate it i've been meaning to get back to comments i just ha i haven't so my family's kind of been on the forefront of everything right now so um everything else has been taking a back seat but i hope that everybody has a wonderful thanksgiving and i will talk to you later bye